The Toyota Yaris Cross is a handsome compact SUV with an extremely economical hybrid powertrain. It's well-built and suitably spacious, but it does feel firm over lumps and bumps. With its cute pug dog styling and available hybrid powertrain, the 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross appears ready to take on Mini SU Versus in the fierce American crossover sales war. A 169-horsepower four-cylinder lies under the hood and can be mated to either a front or all-wheel drive setup, a hybrid powertrain will join the lineup for the 2023 model. The Corolla Cross slots into the Toyota SUV lineup between the smaller CHR and the larger RAV4, which puts it in a familiar in-between category with rivals such as the Kia Seltos, the Jeep Compass, and the Nissan Rogue Sport. The interior borrows heavily from the Corolla and Corolla hatchback models, but with slightly more cargo space, and obviously the Cross offers a taller driving position. Although it wears the familiar Corolla name, the Cross's SUV shape and taller ride height makes it more than a typical compact hatchback. A hybrid powertrain, which may possibly include an all-wheel drive option, will join the Corolla Cross lineup for 2023. We rarely recommend the top-spec trim, but the XLE model is the one that offers the equipment that many SUV buyers are looking for, including a 10-way power-adjustable driver's seat, dual-zone automatic climate control, heated front seats, blind-spot monitoring, front and rear parking sensors, and handsome 18-inch aluminum wheels. Front-wheel drive is standard, but all-wheel drive is available for those who need it for an additional $1,300. All Corolla Cross models will come with a 169-horsepower 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine and a continuously variable automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive is standard, but all-wheel drive is available as an option. During our initial test drive, we complained that acceleration was lazy and that the engine sounded buzzy, particularly at high revs. All Corolla Cross models will come with a 169-horsepower 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine and a continuously variable automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive is standard, but all-wheel drive is available as an option. During our initial test drive, we complained that acceleration was lazy and that the engine sounded buzzy, particularly at high revs. The EPA estimates that the front-wheel drive Corolla Cross is good for 31 miles per gallon city and 33 mpg highway, going with an all-wheel drive model drops those figures to 29 and 32 respectively. On our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test, the Corolla Cross missed its highway fuel economy rating slightly and delivered 30 miles per gallon. For more information about the Corolla Cross's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Drivers familiar with the Corolla sedan will find themselves right at home inside the Corolla Cross. The dashboard layout, interior materials, and convenience features are nearly identical to the four-door model. However, the Corolla Cross's larger dimensions create more room for passengers, particularly in the back seat, and additional space for cargo. Lower trims are far more basic, but the XLE model comes with nice-looking full leather upholstery, heated front seats, a leather-wrapped shift knob, and a flip-down center armrest for rear seat passengers. Out of the Corolla Cross's dashboard sprouts a square infotainment display flanked by shortcut buttons. This same setup is used in several current Toyota models, which offer 7 and 8-inch displays. 
The Corolla Cross uses the current version of Toyota's infotainment interface, which isn't particularly modern, but is fairly straightforward in its operation. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Sirius XM satellite radio will all be standard, but wireless smartphone charging, rear seat USB charging ports, and a JBL stereo system are optional extras. New Toyota models come with a fairly basic standard warranty package, but the company throws in two years of complimentary scheduled maintenance to sweeten the deal. Rivals such as the Kia Seltos or the Hyundai Kona may offer more value for high-mileage drivers with their 100,000-mile policies. The Yaris Cross is only available with a single 1.5-liter petrol-electric hybrid powertrain. With 114 horsepower on tap it isn't the most powerful setup around but thanks to its ability to run for very short periods of time on battery power alone, efficiency is very good indeed. During our time with the car, we averaged 60 miles per gallon pretty effortlessly. Your only choice in transmission is a continuously variable automatic, which does make the engine drone away pretty loudly when you accelerate hard for extended periods of time. Our test car was a pre-production model however, so it's likely that this won't be as much of an issue in the finished product.